Hey guys, what's up? It's Jake. Welcome back to the channel. So today what we're gonna do, me and my boy Prance, who was in my last video, we're gonna go to an art museum. We're gonna learn about culture, gonna enrich our minds because that's what life is really all about. Also, there's usually cute girls at art museums, but that is secondary to learning. But honestly, man, more than anything, I'm just super excited to hang out with a friend. Kind of in my own world lately, I, I haven't been doing anything. I've been kind of laying in my bed every single day, ordering Taco Bell, not paying my bills, not showering, drinking way too much alcohol. You know how it gets sometimes, you know. I definitely really need this today for sure. All right, uh, we're gonna do my skincare routine and then we'll be ready to head out. All right guys, I'm gonna run through my skincare routine really quick. A lot of people have been asking me. Let me show you exactly what I do. We're just gonna get some, we're just gonna get some water. Put the water on your face. Make sure it really gets in there. Just make sure the water is really spread. And we are done. Hey bro, what's going on? What's up, Jake? Uh, hope you're doing good. Um, so I'm calling just to let you know I can't hang out today anymore. Some some stuff came up, but let's hit it next week. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, of course. Don't even worry about uh, it, man. All right. I appreciate you for being flexible, bro. You know, we'll get, we'll get to it. We're going to link. Like, I'm not being flaky. Like, we got this, okay? <laughs> yeah, absolutely, man. Totally understand. Don't worry about it. We'll figure it out, all right? So I guess I'm not doing anything today. Once again, it's fine. I'm not. I'm not mad about it. Oh. Who does this man really think he is, canceling at the last second like that, taking my friendship and stomping it in the dirt? Expecting me to talk to girls by myself when he knows I get really shy. I'm gonna figure out what he's really up to. Let's go see what this boy's doing. There he is, there he is. Oh my god, he's crossing the street. He's crossing the street. There he goes. Alright, so we followed him around the neighborhood. He went in the gas station and bought some flaming hot Cheetos. Let's go figure out what this means. It seemed like every new piece of evidence only brought more questions. I didn't even know he liked spicy snacks like that. Clearly there's a lot I don't know about this man. Okay guys, this is just between us. But ever since Prance broke up with his girlfriend a couple weeks ago, he's been historically down bad. When one of your boys becomes down bad, it can become incredibly dangerous. When you become down bad, it causes the body to radiate desperation endorphins that become detectable within a 30-foot radius of any woman. When a woman picks up on these signals, it releases chemicals in her brain that are designed to determine if a person is sus. If high levels of sus are detected, this can cause the down bad individual to get left on red. This triggers even more desperation endorphins, which is incredibly dangerous because it puts you at risk for becoming down horrendous. Once you are down horrendous, you begin thirsting on social media for everyone to see. And then from there, there is little chance of ever breaking that cycle. If you think you or a loved one might be down bad, talk to a medical professional immediately. So man, honestly, knowing that he's in that state right now, I just, um, I think, it should be pretty easy to catfish him on Tinder to see what he's been doing. If I was gonna catfish one of my boys, I had to make it convincing. The profile is created. Now we wait. Yo, 
Yo, yo, yo, yo, yo, yo. It's a match, baby. My dude loves brunettes. Me and Prance were officially in the talking stage. It was kind of nice pretending to be somebody else. I started to wonder why I don't do this more often. Okay, so me and Prance had plans to hang out again on Saturday. So I'm gonna schedule a date with him on Saturday and see if he cancels with me. This son of a bitch. Oh, hey bro, we still hanging out Saturday? Dude, you're not gonna believe this. Some other shit came up. I can't do Saturday, bro, but look, we'll reschedule, how about like next week? Oh, crazy. Yeah, for sure, we can make next week work. All right, bro, you're the goat, and I appreciate you. I know I keep canceling, but like, I don't mean to. Stuff just keeps happening. Okay, we'll link next week, it'll be a vibe. Oh yeah, for sure, man. Sounds great. All right, man, talk to you later. Peace. Peace. It's game time. Sarah? It's so good to meet you. Oh yeah, my god. Cool. Yeah, of oh. course. Like... Jake? What the hell? You catfished me? Why? I had no other choice. What do you mean you had no other choice? You have many choices. This is, this is a weird one. I knew he'd be mad, but you can't run from conflict. Sometimes you gotta create it to get the truth. So, you would rather hang out with a girl instead of me? Yes! You sent me booty pictures. Was that your butt? Dude, why are we still talking about this? This was in the past now. Because you're caked up and it's making me uncomfortable. The argument went on way longer than I expected. So I decided to apologize so we could get it over with. Look. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I won't catfish you again without your permission. Wow, thank you. Yeah. Bring it in, bring it in. My plan worked. We're finally hanging out. Never forget who your true homies are. Also, never forget to smash the like and subscribe button. Alright guys, I gotta bounce. But a little word of advice. If you guys catfish one of your friends, make sure they delete your nudes after. Alright, see you next time. I'm free, spirit forever.